All right, time for a night shift. I'm just debating how I want to do it. Range fight, what would be the three assets I want to do on the German side? That's the difficult part. And then how would rearming work for everything? I'm alright. Hope you're all doing A-OK. -okay. Sparta's at the gym. Nice. I'm just debating uh, a bit of an interesting op idea on my own side. Gonna make a gun crew operation. I'm just debating in my head how I'm gonna actually do that. Okay. And what are our two choices for AT guns? We got that and a pack 40. I don't want to do with the Neverwa. For the Flak 36, you can't tow. If we're going to do AA, it would have to be in that form. And I'm debating planes at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's all I can really say about that. It would be eh. But let's see. With that, you'd have to make these towable. Yeah, all right. I'm going to play around with some of these concepts here. Oh, you saw the, the arty hit clip I think I put out public? And yes, you can send me a picture of cake. Sure, why not? I always love seeing pictures of cake. But that was funny. I put two random shells in the air and they hit the player base on the freaking rate road up. Oh my god. Baby laugh. Whew. I'm gonna need coffee after this uh, this op because I am not gonna be stopping tonight. I want to get all my mission dev done that I can. Uh, let's see. Tribute, settings, load. I mean, I'll just load the freaking World War II settings from today, because that was fine. Save. World War II. I do want to make a bridge-making op, though. I mean, I think that'd be pretty damn cool. I just have to figure out how I'm going to build that, but I'll look through the file that Devil made for his theology, because it was definitely a custom thingamajig. I don't need any of that. Uh, let's see. That's all fine. Hey, righto, Nick. Welcome. Uh, I'm just going to be building an op from scratch tonight and then building a few other operations, whatever I feel like. I'm just doing a little bit of testing right now. All right, so can we tow? Oh. 
What? <laughs> so, uh, that happened. Why did that happen? Did I get armored on between the two guns? And they had a collisions issue? Or there was still someone mounted on the gun, so that might have caught... That's funny. Alright, well... Let's try that again. Except separate things a little bit more. <laughs> That's amazing. I love this game. So I'll just tell the players, hey, if you got armored, that sucks. I'm just trying to see... So the gunner can push it. Now what I'm trying to figure out is if we can... I'm sorry? I was looking for a way to tow it, not... Because I thought you could do that with the pack, right? I'm just worried loading it and unloading that would cause it to, uh, explode. Let's try this way. No. So, there's no way to tow it with that future. I, I thought there was another way to tow these guns, though, and I'm looking for it. It might be with only a certain vehicle, though. Yeah, so that's only vehicle to vehicle, not static guns, but also might be because it's registering it as a static gun. Oh, okay. Let's just... We're going to have to play around here. I need... That is not what I clicked. Thank you. Let me remember what guns are what. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to want them to push it across a few kilometers, though. You know, I feel like that's just a bad idea waiting to happen. I'm going through everything else in my mind, though. We're going to have to set up respawn positions for everything. So everything will have to be put on timers to make this work. It'll be a multi-life op. I have to test rearm on all the vehicles. Eh, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it builds character to push a giant turret across everything. Forgot to set to five seconds instead of ten. Or better yet, just put in my import files so you spawn instantaneously on your first life. Okay. So under these guys, I know we've got this puppy, and then we also have, I doubt a couple wagon would be able to tow it, but what we're looking for is an opal truck. How did this work?
Because I could have sworn there was a way to tow it through a, a built-in script system that they had. Hitched a vehicle. Okay, there it is. Yes. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. So the truck can hitch. It's because I haven't used this script system in a hot second. And then you can unhitch. Right. But it has to be... So it has to specifically be facing that. So you have to physically either turn the truck or turn the gun around. And then it works. Okay. And then you can unhitch it from there. All right. So it works with that truck, but it doesn't work with these uh, tracked trucks. No, it does. It just has to be facing behind it. Yet when it goes forward... So why did that other gun turn around? Okay, that's weird. But does it work with these then? Yes, it does. Okay. Perfect, because these are fun. Because pack 40, you've got... A silly little sight to use. You got plenty of other stuff. I need to tech, uh, test what can be reloaded as well. And then these... <laughs> these are also fun. It's just one has double the ammo, but the other one is more powerful. Yeah, so you get two types of AP and then HE. HE give you a massive amount of shells. What about this one? You get AT and... Oh god, I don't know the difference, man. Ow. Wait, why is Ace hearing on? Mm. And then that's all I got, right? It would be those two options for turret, because everything else... I mean... I don't think it's towable... However, we could do it the fun way. <laughs> How does this work? Don't know. But I'm pretty sure if I pull this out, it's going to arm itself and explode. Hmm. Yes. I see <laughs> your argument. However, I have a Flak 36. If you just give me five more seconds to finagle it out of this truck, as I was saying, I have a flak 36. Oh, 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 now, here's my question, though. Are these wheeled or tracked? Does the game even know? I think it considers them tracks. Well, actually, hell, we can always check by checking the cargo. Oh, it considers them wheels. Okay. Cool. All right, here's how the op's gonna work. 
I am going to make a single type of kit and spread it two ways. Oh, uh, gun crew. Men. Can I have a camo variant? Gun crew sergeant. Gun crew regular dude. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to make this simple because this is just meant to be a fun weekend thingamajig. Uh, German bino. Now. Just looking for attributes. Ace options. Engineer. Hold up. No, that was something set with their own. Yeah, I know we want to not touch that bar. I'll send them to doctor so I go quickly. Uh, let's see. Now I have to build two kits. That should be fine. What does he have? He's got the Ruger, Luger, blah, 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 and an MP40. A Lamau. Okay. What do I want to do for medical here? 15 bandages, 2 epi, 2 morphine, a pack. 2 tourniquets because I'm stingy. What is a real looker? Five of those. Hmm. Okay, map tool. Artillery range table. Even though I think only one of them in the group are going to need it. And I'll also do an E tool. And I'm going to copy and paste this kit on the other guy and just change the weaponry when it's needed. Uh, let's do boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Uh, where's a whistle so we can have people freak out over everything? Hell yeah. That's for debug reasons, and I think we're good. There's joke grenades, hell yeah. And I don't think the Germans had smoke. <clears throat> yeah, no, that should be fine. Okay. As a joke, I can give him some tin cans. You know what? A Molotov. Why? Because it's funny. All right, I'm going to copy and paste him because I'm going to put you down. I need to make some changes, though. So what do we have? I mean, you're clearly a car 98. Helmet's the same. M43 artillery. Scoosh. Whatever the heck. All right. So just the one above. You're going to have the 98 thingamajig on you. And now I need to figure out what I want to do here. What's the biggest backpack from FAV I can give you? Yeah, I'm not doing world. Satellite phone. Excellent. That will let me talk to anybody. Everyone knows the Germans invented satellites. Duh. Uh, let's see. German... Is that rucksack really the best we got? Damn. Okay. 
Uh, that's for the gun crew bullshittery. I also need to give him his mark. Car 98. Nah, you get the, the bargain copy bullshit. Where's the knife? Yes. Okay. And then you get the fun thing. It's really easy to find. Just type that word and boom, I get it. Okay. <sighs> Let's fix a few things. First off, settings add-on. Why was there... There was hearing. I'm going to take that away. I don't like hearing. Now nah, we make it a deaf op. It's great. That's the, where the range card comes in, but if I were to check kits again, just to be smart about it. Yeah, the one issue we're going to have is no... Can you do toolkit? Awesome, then you just put it in the vehicle if it need, it's needed. All right. I think you can see where this is going. this I'll make sure there's no clipping issues, you know? Let's 
I'll do six and six. And then the fun part is the respawn. Let's do that's a thing of a jig. The issue is if I group too many at once, it's going to cause a massive amount of glitch out. So it's a little more tedious, but usually when you sync them all individually and give them their own space to respawn as well, it helps prevent issues. How's everyone's evening? Because, I mean, we're actually close to being finished with this file. I just need to plan out the map accordingly, and then we're good. It's okay? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Broadshore. Tomorrow, I am not going to Zeus anything. I'm not even 100% sure I'll stream anything. If I do stream, it's either going to be more Mission Dev or Helldivers. Going to be honest with y'all. But I am purely focusing on getting everything sorted for all remaining mission files I have to do this week. The real fun is going to be creeping that all to one respawn vehicle, but I'm going to make it <clears throat> simple as I can. Here's the thing, though. I need to, I need to test this. Because I need to see if... Uh, the turrets can either be fully rearmed or if they're handled by CS, um, CSW. I don't think they're handled by CSW, crew serve weapons, uh, because otherwise it would have stripped the indiv ammunition individually. But we're about to find out, so. Let's have a look. Interesting. So if I do that and completely nullify the munition, it will do this entirely. Now, does it do a full rearm or does it do a single shell? Because I'm trying to figure out where the game is dividing the crew served weapon line. It gives it full ammo again. Okay. Got screwed on a commission? Yeah, you want to... Here's the thing. Unless what you do is incredibly niche, you always want to be paid at least half up front for a commission job. Because otherwise you'll just get screwed out of it. Unfortunately. Now I'm trying to see and make sure that all of this gets rearmed appropriately. Uh, 
Oh, right, let me check on your kid, Cockeye. Ooh, it looks like it fell apart there. Was it at least good? Chocolate potato cake? Nice. I'm assuming the potato starchiness stuck to the pan and you had to kind of pull it out, which is unfortunate. That fully rearms it. All right. So what's eight times six? 480 rounds then. All right. Now the really fun part. Do 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 Time for the bonfire, exactly. I'm curious, inventory wise, just to open some facts. And that's why I test, because the ammo vic ain't coming back. have some unique munitions in there though which is kind of funny uh everything respawned but that so i need to have another module which i thought was uh odd because i had an even amount of modules down there was an odd amount of items yeah cool all right let's work on framing And then we'll say... I have another idea. Because this will help make the map more dynamic. I rarely ever turn this setting on, but I think it would be really, really cool for this one. I just need to find it. Because I always forget where the frickety frack they put it. I think it's under map. Yes. Don't hide AI, though. Uh, interval, we're going to do say every 30 seconds they report their position, which might actually be the max. Yeah. Show player names? Uh, no. Because we want it based off of groupings. Okay. So now, theoretically, if I were to put all of these on... And yet, one of the added benefits is it's going to show all the units, but I want to also show basically where friendly squads are because I'm going to let ground command order around some uh, infantry platoons as well. Yeah. Mm, but it's not doing that. Wait, no, so it should be overriding. So that means it wants it in there then. Let me just hit the play button and verify. Because I don't mind renaming everything for that sake, but I want to make sure it's doing it the right way. Yeah, I already see command team. All right, cool.
So this is just going to be a little bit of copy and pasting for me. Yeah, and it yells at me if I accidentally do it again. Huh. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, if we're going to want to keep that for. Everything else, I'm trying to think. All right. What do we have available? We've got. Oh, for territory this massive. Let's say two infantry platoons. I'm just debating, do I want to pre-play some? Or how do I want to set them up? I think we'll just spawn things dynamically and then we'll go from there. Ah, uh, that should be fine. <clears throat> So, how do we want to do the map marking for the rest of this? Hey, Sheffield, how you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey! Stop glitching out. Wow, there is some... What the... You see that? There's just massive... What... Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on. I'm going to re-log it because it's having some really weird... Okay, it's not jerking my mouse around. That was weird. Yeah, no, I agree. Something was not happy there. Uh, from there, it's just going to be some final setting, setting up the map, and then, yeah, no. Uh, the toughest part's gonna be writing up the announcement, but I'll do that before tomorrow morning, so. That should be fine. And then I gotta look at my, uh, to-do list and see what I still have to do. Okay. I'm not going to border it like I normally do with a second one. I'm just going to put it down and call it a day. And then we need markers set up. I do want to set up infantry positions as well, though. Ah, oh, but I'll do that through AI placement instead.
and I can, yeah, no, there's a, there's a few cool ways I could probably play this, so. We'll see. Where's Tonk? There's armor. So that's that. So we're going to have this area and that area. Okay. And we'll give them 10 minutes to deploy <clears throat> before we start setting things up. So for the sake of infantry, let's put in the <laughs> level off field divisions. F it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have enough planes, so we're stuffing the infantry on the ground. Plus, they got camo, so might as well. Yeah, so while they're going, I can have an AI dynamic fight up here. Because that should show all the blue four elements on the map dynamically. And then I can just state, yeah, while the fighting's going on, we'll send additional units to reinforce. But this position's whole, like, oh, front line's holding, but it's eventually pushed back, so we need you to basically defend the airfield. As we evacuate, re, uh, their supply and everything on it. I think that'll work out fine. The focus is going to be mainly against tanks. However, we do have two AA guns, blah, blah, blah. Awesome. And that that's small, and it's only going to be, what, what? Uh, 24 players, I think? 10? No. One... One command team, 10 gun crews, and two AA teams. So that's 26 players total, which, yeah, total ballpark right there. And they have to defend against... Oh, yeah, this is a pretty massive opening, but for 10 guns to hold, I mean, that's that should be fine. Even for, like, four or five, as long as they keep their fields of fire active. But, yeah, no. Uh, one thing I will do, however, is let's let's stylize this a bit. Yeah, I don't I don't need that German flag. I need Where's the Yeah, there we go.
Yeah, no, that should be good. And then depending on what goes on, I can tell Ground Command, hey, we have these infantry, we got these assets to support you, blah, 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 where do you want them? Yeah, I think that should be fine. Uh, I haven't put the export files in there yet. Let me tab out and do that real quick. And there you go. I mean, that was a quick 45 minute with some quick testing. Everything set properly on respawn. Proud of that one. Easy, nice, and simple. And we learned a little bit about the gun hitching and towing and all that fun jazz. The area widget is actually used for. Yeah, right? You use it to basically... It, it's very, very niche, but you can use it for anything that involves areas or area triggers. If you ever get into scripting triggers, that's where it shines. But other than that, again, very niche thing in that aspect. All right.